okay students today we are going to study about the osi model osi stands for open system interconnection it is a reference model that describes how information from a software application in one computer moves through a physical medium to the software application in another computer the osi model consists of seven layers and each layer performs a particular network function now let let us look at the diagram of osi reference model the first layer is a physical layer the second layer is a data link layer third layer is a network layer fourth is a transport layer fifth one is a session layer sixth one is a presentation layer and finally there is a application layer each of these layers utilize the service provided by the below layer looking at the functions of the application layer which is the topmost layer the functions of application layer include file transfer access and management it also includes mail services and directory services functions of presentation layer include translation different computers use different encoding methods therefore the presentation layer handles the interoperability between the different encoding methods encryption encryption is needed to maintain privacy this concept is being taken care of by the presentation layer compression it reduces the number of bits to be transmitted data compression is very important in transmitting multimedia such as text audio video these are the three functions of the presentation layer functions of session layer dialog control and synchronization between devices or sender and receiver is the function of the session layer it allows the communication between the two processes which can be either half duplex or full duplex that means the communication can take place between two devices at the same time or one after the other the synchronization is been taken care of by the session layer functions of transport layer include service point addressing which means to transmit the message to the correct process second function include segmentation and reassembly it divides the message into multiple segments and each segment is assigned with a sequence number that uniquely identifies the segment connection control transport layer provides two services one is connection oriented and another one is connectionless it also maintains flow maintaining the pace of flow of data is important in order to avoid the loss of data error control ensures reliable transmission of data by reducing the error moving to the next segment which includes function of network layer internetworking it provides a logical connection between different devices addressing addressing is used to identify the devices on the internet routing it determines the best optimal path out of the multiple paths from source to destination packetizing converting the data into packets is a function of the network layer functions of the data link layer physical addressing the data link layer adds a header to the frame that contains a destination address the frame is transmitted to the destination address mentioned in the header flow control this is the technique through which the constant data rate is maintained on both the sides so that no data gets corrupted framing here it means the packet is consisting of the header in its front and trailer so that the packet is being routed correctly to the right destination functions of data link layer are now summed as physical addressing flow control moving to the functions of physical layer line configuration it defines the way how two or more devices can be connected physically data transmission it defines the transmission mode whether it can be simplex half duplex or full duplex topology it defines how the network devices are arranged signals it defines the determines the type of signal used for transmitting the information that is all about the seven layers of the osi model thank you